show you all how to split this piece of maple, which is about 11 inches in diameter and about 22 inches long, and split it into multiple boards, like this one right here, which I can then, you know, work through, hew down, and turn into eventually, hopefully, maybe a tabletop or something for a piece of furniture. So if you have a nice piece of wood that you have in log form like this, and uh, there's definitely ways to turn it into usable wood using only hand tools and your own kind of ingenuity. So the first thing that has to be done is you need to make wooden wedges. So this is a small version of wooden wedge. Um, it doesn't have too steep of a slope. You don't want to make the slope too steep. Uh, this being the flat side right here, this being the slope side. Otherwise, the wood is going to reject it. So this one has worked well for the small board. I made a longer wedge right here for use on board, I guess you could say logs. They're about twice the size. This little part is broken right here because I just used it. Uh, but even though it broke, it still worked really well. So the first thing that you do is basically I took a limb, you know, only a few inches in diameter and maybe uh, just over a foot long and split it down with my ax. Well, actually, this is more just a hatchet. So you put the hatchet right there in the top of it, and assuming this is a you know a full log, you put the hatchet right there on the top of it. I also took another limb, which I made a flat side on, which I've since been using as basically a mallet this whole time. And you bang, 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 bang it right there on the top of the axe. It forces itself down through, splits this wood in no time. You'll be able to see there's plenty of shards in this wood, so you gotta take your axe to it. You gotta clean them off. And you're cleaning off this one side to be basically the, the flat, the one flat side. And after that, you're taking your axe and you're chopping down uh, here, working a gentle slope right here towards the bottom, which eventually turns into a nice wedge. This being the gentle slope that you're working down with your axe slowly but surely to get down to a really nice thin tip. So once you have yourself some wedges, for this one I'm able to use the two, uh, the two smaller wedges. They work really well. You don't need a third wedge. It's not that wide of a diameter log. Um, you can't really start just by starting to pound them in right now. The wood might reject it pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So what I like to do, actually, is take my pencil, make a few rough lines of where I want to cut, maybe an inch or two inches apart, and it should turn into, I think, six or seven pieces. After I have these lines drawn, really rough lines, I can adjust as I go, I'll basically take my axe and put it in the center of one of those lines, and this is the center of this kind of end piece right here. So I'll put it right there in the center, make it nice and vertical. Hit it a few times to get, get a, uh, an indentation or groove going in. Pull out the axe, and then using that indentation as a guide, put half of my axe back in there, and the half of my axe closer to this side that doesn't have an indentation yet. Start hammering down again. And so what I'm doing is just trying to lengthen this indentation all the way along the whole width of the log. So I get a generally straight line across. And this straight line, this straight line indentation, this straight line cut, is going to be useful because your wedge needs something to go into before it's going to start cutting. So, as you can see, put a nice little cut in there with my axe. It's not too deep, um, maybe a centimeter, centimeter and a half down. But now that we have something started, I can take my two wedges right here and put them in with this being the flat end. This flat end needs to be facing in towards the center of the log, towards the part of the log that you want to remain flat. And then this other section right here is going to start peeling off as you go down. 
So all you do is you take your nice little wooden mallet, your nice little wedge that you made out of the, the same basic type of limb, same diameter. You start hitting it in. It's in there now. You can see the logs moving. Take the other wedge, put in that little groove you made with your axe. Do the same thing, hit it in. Now they're both in there. And all you gotta really do is start banging away. So as you start moving this thing down, you'll see a crack start propagating down the side. It'll do the same thing over here. It may not be perfectly straight. I mean, what it's really gonna do is gonna follow the grain of wood. So here we go. So you can already see it starting to crack right here. Let me make sure this angle is good and you actually could see it. Watch the whole thing. Cracks about halfway down now. You can see it starting to peel off. So when you get to this point, you'll see that the wedge is either flush with it, or as this one did, it kind of fell through a little bit by the fact that it started peeling off so much. This wood is not going to fit down there. You can't just keep hitting it. So just want to take the hatchet, turn it around, use the back of it, and start banging it down there. It doesn't take much effort at all. The force is, uh, the force you have to use with the hatchet. It's pretty light. There's just a few strands that you're basically going to have to work this through. With the one wedge, the other one fell out because there's no, there's no uh, pressure keeping it in there. It's just this other one wedge doing a little bit of work. Try to cut it off. There you go. Cut it again. Turn it back over. And that peels off our first piece of wood. Bark on one side, which we'll remove later. Nice little strands right here of where the wood kept over here and pulled apart from this main log right here. Um, you can see it's not a perfectly straight line. It kind of curves a little bit. It's going with the forces that are inside the wood. You can also see from this top view, uh, let's angle that correctly, it twists a little bit. So it's not going to be a perfectly straight board, um, but to be able to do this with hand tools, it's kind of amazing what you can still get out of it. So go back, do the same thing. This end piece probably is going to be as useful to me as uh, one of these other boards you have to do. So a little two inch, one and a half inch section right there. Make an indentation with my, my hatchet, pull it out, extend that indentation to be able to put these wedges back into. Get it back in, down in there. It goes all the way. This edge is just protruding past the, uh, past the bark, which is good because it helps the bark rip down with it instead of the bark just completely ripping off the side. In the case you might want to keep that bark, even though I don't. Again, use the axe. It's in a general straight line. It's not perfect, but this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now that we have our now that we have our uh, our indent in there, I guess you could say, a little groove, we can put our little wedges back in there. They're not gonna have to go through the top of the wood. Hit that one down in, other ones here on the ground. Put it there, a little bit of a gap towards the other side, get it in there, probably easier if I turn this log actually. Flat side is in my left hand, this is the angled side right there, remember that one down as well, 
closer you get these things together, the harder it, harder it is to hit this inside and keep it from angling this way. So this one's probably gonna tend to have this side dig down more than this side will. But with the other wedge there to help out, it'll even out. It's all right. All right. So, now let's go at it again. As you can see though, it's a big excuse. I'm wearing safety glasses. It's gonna sometimes hit off sharp's wood and you definitely want, don't want those sharp's wood to go in your eyes. So, the reason I have my hand there, it's still vibrating a little bit. It wasn't in quite deep enough. So I want to give it a little stability, kind of like when you're holding a nail while you're hammering until it really starts going into the wood. As you can see, it's a lot quicker work once it starts going in, once you start seeing the crack go, and now it's halfway down the wood. I basically just keep alternating, trying to keep the tops at the same level. If one goes in easier than the other, I switch this other one a few more times, so that they have the same resistance. And now I'm basically flush with the top. You can almost peel this whole thing off, but again, I go, take the back of the hatchet, and start hitting them down. Turn it around, there's a little strand right here that's keeping it from uh, fully splitting. Chop it with your axe. Another one in the center to do the same thing. And turn it back around. And it's basically split now. I'm pulling it apart with my hands. Get those last strands off. And now I have a decently thick, though somewhat curved, piece of maple.